So what's going on in the garage uh, today? I had a couple of tasks I wanted to get done. Um, one was Christmas lights. I needed to rearrange some of the vehicles and trailers in the yard. As um, far as maintenance, I got a LS1 F body oil pan uh, parts cleaner. And I just want to get cleaned up. My objective is just to stay on top of cleaning and bagging everything that way when this motor does come together that's one less thing i gotta do i literally think this is the only thing left uh, as far as prep so what i do is um it's electric uh harbor freight parts cleaner it's a trap supply fluid thanks to alex telling me where to get the fluid at Pretty expensive, five gallon drums. It was like 30, 40 bucks a drum. Uh, but like I would yank off some of these bolts. This does pretty good. I don't know if this little Makita impact is gonna knock off these bolts. Yep, so I would take all those out and I would just rinse it real good with um, fluid. Uh, wipe it down, I got a rag that's wet. Now blow it off with air. Um, I've already kind of pre-soaked it. Uh, still kind of nasty in this area. So I'm gonna rinse it off. Show you all anything that happens. Probably gonna yank that uh, adapter off. Probably gonna go to Motion Raceworks adapter. Um, at least gives me an option if I want to put a, a oil pressure sensor there. I am debating on. Uh, I'm going to run a dual ECU. Um, the Holly ECU for its um, parameters with tuning. But I want to retain the factory gauges. I just like the look of them. And I'm not going to pay $1,000 for a Holly digital gauge set. So I am going to run like a dual coolant sensors, dual oil pressure sensors. So all my gauges will function. I think it's going to work. I have a plan. Uh, there is some voodoo that's going to have to happen with the crank sensor with resistors and um i think they call them like power up resistors i got a lot of stuff saved on my phone anyways we'll get in, into that when that time comes so i'm gonna clean this up and i get with you all cleaned up here a little time lapse to show y'all um nothing special this is what little maintenance i did today i did find some bolts in my parts washer i'm missing a couple of bolts for an intake and i don't want to buy aftermarket and um f bodies or ls style of ls123 they use a certain style boat. Actually, it's LS3 I need. Anyways, I'll go out there and uh, check it out. Hopefully, those fit it. I got a good feeling they don't because I went through a huge hunt fast for these bolts, and I would have been in here several times. And I just, I don't know. I found them in a little bag that was in here. We'll see. Anyway, so uh, pretty much took all apart, blew it off with air, wiped it down with a rag. Um, lock tighted these bolts back into place. As I said, I'll probably go to Motion Raceworks and buy the um, adapter where a oil pressure sensor will fit right here. The issue is the Holly one is kind of fat and I'm scared of uh, header clearance with the, the piping for the, um, the exhaust. So and the thing is with the OEM, they're skinnier, but the threads are a lot thicker. So, and I think the Holly one actually, or the Motion Race Work adapter is for a 1 8th NPT. And the um, OEM's a lot bigger than that, like probably like a 10 millimeter or something. Or it's different. So maybe some adapters playing around. Either way, I want the option. And I'm gonna have this gauge close to working. It's gonna be an experience and we'll, we'll go through it together. But that's what I did for today. Uh, see y'all next time.